I'm glad to see someone's in a good mood this morning. Mm -hmm. Diane, you don't fancy doing a quick stint round the bar for all time's sake, do you? Oh, the fumes coming off you. I'll pass, thanks. Yeah, it does its wages. Well, he's hardly employee of the month, but this isn't even minimum wage. Yeah, well, what with Dee Dee's birthday present and a few personal expenses, it's all I can afford. How long are you going to keep this up for? Having Daz at the house and the B&B. &B. You know what you need to do? Yeah, and I know it's not working. I was hoping you might give me a few hints on how to broach the subject with him. Where to start? Multiple thefts. He's lazy. And the amount of hair he leaves in the bath, you could mention that. Cruel to be kind is quickest. Just do it. Today. I'm not sure this is a good idea. Nonsense. We've all had enough of family feuds. And, yes, Mist is gone now, but... Hey, Nicola made the first move, didn't she? Ask him for a reconciliation drink. Yeah, I bet it was Jimmy who persuaded her. Whatever, just go with the spirit and smile. And who knows, if it goes well, you might end up moving back in. Won't that be nice? All the family back together again, hello? <laughs> Come on, Nico. Try and be nice. Well, as long as he doesn't start on about how we ruined his life again, I've apologised enough. I know he's too proud to say it, but he's been dying to see you. Faith said he's not stopped talking about you, so just smile and try and enjoy it. Are you still enjoying life with Eric and Faith? Nice to be living with adults for a change. Oh, <laughs> of course, it's only temporary. He can move back in with you any time. I'll get the drinks. Care of the dog? How apt. Do you know, I'm not surprised your dad don't want to live with you with a gob like that. And Jimmy would probably do a runner if he wasn't stuck under your stupid thumb. Just do your job and get the drinks. Of course. What can you get here? Uh, What'll it be? Don't you dare. This is still my bar. Yeah, it's all just been dead quiet round here. Nothing to report. Set the heart of that. Uh, yeah, I'll see you, Pete. Yeah, bye-bye, mate. No need to ruin his holiday. The doc said that there's no lasting damage and they're going to release me today anyway, so there's no need for anyone else to find out. The more people that know, the more people that can make sure you give up talk. I thought we were mates. Mates don't grasp. I know, but you're asking me to like the charity. Yeah, but I promised you that I would never take drugs again. Yeah, in front of Moses. You need to promise you you won't take drugs full stop. Off home now? Yeah. Thanks for looking after me, Doc. I won't say it's been a pleasure. I see too much of this sort of thing. You've had a lucky escape. Yeah, I know. And that's why I will never touch that stuff ever again. I know it can be hard, given the type of injury you've had to recover from. Perhaps it's something you might want to talk to a counsellor about. Help is available. Yeah. OK. Good luck. See? I promised the doc that I would never take drugs ever again, so there's no need to grasp me into charity. I guess so. Uh...